Hello everybody, it's Neil and I'm back with the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. So, it's time to play episode 2, case number 2, The Adventure of the Unbreakable Speckled Band. In a corner of that small, dark room, Sholmes and I waited with bated breath. In time, there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft, almost growl-like sound. Suddenly, Sholmes sprang into action, lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness. You see it, Wilson, he yelled, his tense voice reverberating through the air. I raised my dark lantern shutter and the room slowly came into view. Sholmes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words, the speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which she referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder, its fangs bared as it threatened to strike. It truly was the most terrible speckled band I had ever seen. So wait, is the speckled band the snake? Surely not. Um, you might have picked up there a character called Sholmes. Um, yeah, it's uh, supposedly Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> I believe. So then, let us unravel this mystery and discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. In his final moments, the victim scrawled a message on the floor. Hmm. Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. A Russian word. So, the victim was a Russian man, then. And the letters are well-formed, suggesting he was compass mentis at the time. Hmm, this is a most extraordinary script. And evidently, not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. This paper seal was placed just prior to the incident by the victim himself, I would venture. Well, what have we here? Uh, uh, who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Da, da! No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait! Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. Uh. What? <gasps> don't be absurd! This is murder! I need cabin locked from inside! Ah yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? <laughs> who, who are you? And where have you come from? I'm a great British consultant detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. I presume... You must have heard of me. Wow. Apparently one of the reasons why it took this game so long to come over to Europe was... Sherlock Holmes. They wanted to just call him Sherlock Holmes. And they couldn't. And eventually they settled on. I'd love to know how much the people were paid to sit there and think, what else could we call him? How about Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Just to be honest, you might as well. Like, it's just a, a big middle finger to the uh, <laughs> the copyright people. Oh, this is the uh, very room. We've been blackwilled. Oh, were we the one in the 
the cabinet. Yeah? Are we going to be accused of murder again? <laughs> oh, is this going to be every case? Criminal. Like how the English like, isn't very good because they're Russian, so the English is probably not their first language. Or well, in theory, like they're speaking English, they're speaking Japanese, because English in this game has a weird font. I don't like the fact she's got sus in her name. Makes me sus. Oh no. Oh, Kazuma's not dead, is he? We didn't see the body. We just saw like a finger, didn't we? Oh no. I was scared like Kazuma was going to be a victim at some point, I honestly thought he might be later in the game. Uh... I was liking Kazuma as well. That sounds like standard uh, traveling, international traveling fair nowadays. Wow. So I think, I think this took place I don't know if it's like 100 or 200 years ago or something. Um, I did look, but I already forgot. <laughs> but man, 50 days to uh, get from, I guess, Japan to Great Britain. How times have changed. I'll try and look up. As we uh, continue, how long can go? This is actually set.
keep out. So it was me that wrote the thing, assuming it's the same thing. So this took place near the end of the 19th century and the dawn of the 20th century. So this is like Victorian Britain and the Meiji period of Japan. So there we go. <laughs> Judging by the mean, I think she will destroy you if she wanted to. I mean, um, Herlock, <laughs> I've really got to get used to not saying Sherlock Holmes. Herlock Holmes said there was no damage on the bolt, but clearly the, uh, the, the part of the bolt that the sort of the catch on the, that's not attached to the door is broken. Like, I look at that and I think if the bolt doesn't latch onto that, then it's as useful as a chocolate teapot. Like, that would just swing open. If I didn't do it, then yeah, I'm going to deny it. It certainly looks like him, but if he's writing in Russian, why would he write in Russian? Like he's Japanese, obviously it could be like multilingual, we know he can speak English and Japanese, but why, why would his instinct to be writing Russian? He's either writing a Russian name, something that can only be perhaps said in Russian, or someone else wrote it, or we're not looking at his face, we're just assuming it's Kazuma because he's got a big red band on his head. How do we know that's actually him? I mean, I'm going to assume Suzato has seen his face and identified him.
Oh, we may never know the reason. I mean, the head throbbing, like, surely I've either been drugged or whacked on the head, surely. <laughs> Won't be the first time our main character's been knocked out by being whacked on the head. quite fancy for a Phoenix Wright game. Got much choice. Well, I've got a paper seal on my own badge. I mean, I guess the paper yes! seal. Thank you. 
I mean, it makes sense. Wait, what's that? I've only just noticed that on the bottom. Is that like a, a bone on a plate? That's a massive bone, isn't it? That looks like a freaking teenage thigh bone of a human. <laughs> what does it look like? It's got a little chef's hat on it on the left side. Am I the only one that sees that? I'd love to be able to do magic. I'm not very good at it though. Right, so this is the other part of the Ace Attorney games outside of the courtroom is talking to people and looking for evidence. So this is a staple of every not case one case <laughs> in uh, these games. Or the sailors here. I mean, I was going to try and go left, but... We can see if there's anything on the table. There we go, that's interesting information. should be allowed to read it right if you want to keep your thoughts private don't write them down if you're writing them down you have to acknowledge that they can be made public we're gonna to have to look at that later aren't we when we're alone and we're gonna bring it up as evidence that she's gonna be really annoyed at us So that's the ammo I was trying to press. Uh, don't press the arrow, press the directional pad. Nice that the game puts a tick. Um, I mean, let's go and inspect our closet. This was home for us for a while. This looks interesting.
though there is a potential way to get from outside this room to inside without using the uh, the door Take down. That's gonna be the uh, meme of this game, isn't it? I get a feeling there's gonna be more than one of them <laughs> to come. Um, I kind of want to have a look at the shell. Oh, as long as it's not the thinker. As if it was, so we know how he died. I mean, one would think that they fell because you're on a boat. We need to know what the weather was like. If the if it was stormy, then I don't see why it couldn't have been the storm. Oh, it's a bit strange that we've uh, put that back together. basically Kazuma's pet and he had a katana. <laughs> little from column A, little from column B. Certainly the case. Maybe the inkwell is part of the uh, the numbers. Let's we'll skip through that. I mean, I wonder if it's supposed to actually spell something else. Trying to look at it upside down, but I don't know. So hard to like, view it upside down. I guess if I take a picture of my mobile telephone and just look at that. No, it doesn't look any better upside down. Maybe it is supposed to be Russian. Again, why would you write in Russian? That's the big question. Oh my god, where did he come from?
<laughs> yeah, I think, he I think he's just playing uh, the floor is lava. Well, let's just um, look around a bit more first. Yeah, we haven't been this side. Let me tell what this is. Ro well, that's not a whole roast chicken. Was it a, a, a thigh, a drumstick? Uh, and how big was it? Because that looks massive. Sad. That's what I've never thought about before. Like what's like when when you hear of a tragedy, it's like what's that person's last meal? Hope it was good. Or something in the uh, is there urary in the uh, <laughs> the chicken? Very suspicious of us. I mean, I get it, but <laughs> I thought we were friends. Yeah, we we met that one time. That's not what I was going for. I was going for the sword. I think the last thing that I want to check out is the door. Um, 
Well, before we talk to Sholmes, uh, we can't converse with the sailor. I assume we can just converse. Can we move? It's interesting they even give that to us as an option, and yet we can't converse with the sailor, even though the game told us we need to talk to him more. Alright then. I don't think that was right about Afghanistan, this is something I don't know. I like that phrase, it doesn't sound like it should be right should it? A great many things, but people say that. It must be right. Crystal Tower. Wait, what? Be ribboned occupant of this very cabin. Be ribboned. I'll remember that word next time I play Countdown. Painful takedown. So could I like make my own series of books or TV show about Herlock Sholmes? Like if that's how you get around the copyright. <laughs> I could just do Herlock Sholmes.
Let's do a little conversing, eh? But it's starting to make me think now. Right, <laughs> hold on, let's, let's just see where this goes. I mean, I assume the short stories are made about a great detective, not a detective who read some short stories and started believing he was really smart. I don't know, it's just the Afghanistan thing, he got that so wrong. Dr. Wilson. Dr. Wilson. I, I watch House. Is it the same Dr. Wilson? He moved from Princeton Plainsboro Hospital. You do oncology there. And the house people sue for stealing Dr. Wilson. Because, <laughs> you know, surely it's the same thing. Do you like his Keith Lee pose? Yeah, it's what Dr. House would do. Hellock. So we've got a pair of wrestlers here. We've got the Susato takedown and the hairlock. Just imagine him in his uh, brown overcoat and hat mingling in with the white and blue sailors. Tim was Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Wrong. Maybe he was secretly Russian, I don't know. Guess we'll find out.
perhaps not Robert God, perhaps a Matt and God. Appreciate him showing us. Villain Bolshevik. I get a feeling we're going to meet this guy before the end of the game. To be fair, I couldn't point out on the map and I actually have a globe. <laughs> Proud owner of a lovely little globe. My geography is so bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look now. It's not um, Brett from the first case, is it? We never saw her face, did we? So 
Let's see about a dancer of some sort, giving me picture behind shoulders. Pavlova. Oh, I remember Pavlova. I love a Pavlova. It's a lovely dessert. Well, look what 20,000 rubles is. Twenty thousand rubles is a hundred and seventy-five pounds and thirty-six pence. This is obviously in today's money. I wonder if I put in two hundred years ago. I oh, don't. It's too much to Google. <laughs> it's far too much to Google. Not while I'm playing this. Well, if I was just focusing on the Google, it would have been okay, but... Um... I wonder if there's any clues I can pick up from this. He's just going to be like, what did you find out? There's a smattering. Bucker. <laughs> Hilarious. She's got some nerve telling me all this, and now she's going to be the one who reads it. This could be interesting. Whistling sound, so I'm whistling in the corridor, so I'm whistling outside the ventilation. Ah, oh, the speckled band. I 
I mean, it was hinted in the opening cutscene Speckle Band is a snake. I was expecting like a more serious badass persona from uh, Erlok Sholmes. There's a certain goofiness. There's still a, a, a earned confidence, but certainly a goofiness to him that I wasn't expecting. But this is Ace Attorney. Like, goofiness is uh, not uncommon. Just break my chains with her bare hands. Or did she just throw me? I mean, there's a sword there. I can use that, maybe. Our friend from case one, the undercover detective. Sure is, isn't it? Quite impressed that I recognised him like immediately. Why does he keep coughing up blood? That's what I want to know. I thought it was something to do with the poison in the first case, but clearly not.
I didn't do a good job today. present the diary. present this I was going to say, if he wrote it in another language, maybe he got the words wrong, but I assume this would be in Japanese. So it should be words that are understood. This is the passage where this isn't actually the room. So I wonder if there'll be anything interesting here. Oh, 
for that guy to see his belly button. I've never been on a cruise ship, or I don't really have any interest. I don't feel like I have sea legs. I'm fine with long flights, but... Uh... Okay, um... I know what this is. Mouse trap. You just say a lump of chalk or something, and it's actually cheese. <laughs> oh, no. I cheese. I know people who are massive cheese fans. Let's inspect the door. Gotta be the fire alarm. Nice way of putting things. Guys, if you're going to be doing something foolish, make sure it only affects yourself. <laughs> I like the way he appeared then. That was quite good. Are they islands that are floating though, or are they just mounds of earth just as seen from beneath the ocean?
It's one thing to be afraid of, it's barely semen. This is consistent. I was expecting either that or it was going to be like really sweet. A bit of stroganoff. So we've got Pavlova, stroganoff. Seemed a bit uh, flustered by that. Right. I know we've gone through this before, but the tick disappeared. So it's like we might be able to find something new out of it.
Well, it looks like everything. Inside the cabin. <laughs> it's like Spider Man. I shan't be stopped. Quite like this uh, Herlock Sholmes. This wants to kick everything. Everything. 